we'll simply search for download anaconda and we'll want to select this first link here this is conda.io so what we want to do is download anaconda here so we'll click on this link and this brings us to the anaconda website so there's a couple of options to choose from depending on whether you're using mac windows or linux so we'll just simply click on this link unless you really want python 2.7 i would actually recommend that you use python 3.6 anyway so we're going to go ahead and download this by the way if you are using a pc then actually feel free to skip to the next section where we'll be showing you the same stuff for a pc all right, so it looks like that's finished downloading. We'll simply double click on this and it should bring up an installation wizard. So let's go and bring up the installer. So we'll just go ahead and continue. All right, so it just took a few minutes and it's done now. We're not gonna bother installing Microsoft Visual Studio Code or anything like that, so let's not worry. We'll just continue and we'll go ahead and close this. We can simply move that installer to the trash. Okay, so now what we'll want to do is just go into our applications and you should see Anaconda Navigator. So we are going to select this guy here. There's a few options to choose from, but we'll definitely want Jupyter Notebook here. This is version 5.5.0 at this time. So let's go ahead and actually just launch this. What this will do is start a new instance of Terminal. And actually, weirdly enough, we can go to the terminal itself and just start type, uh, just type Jupyter Notebook, and we'll start Notebook that way. But we might as well use Anaconda. It's a nicer piece of software to use anyway. So as you can see here, this actually brings up a list of a bunch of uh, my files and directories. So what we're going to do is actually go to the desktop here. This is just my file system on my computer. And we're just going to go into Jupyter Notebooks. So from here, I can simply select a new notebook. I'm going to go for Python 3. Otherwise, you could do like a text file folder or terminal. What we'll actually want is a Python 3 notebook. This now opens up a new Jupyter notebook in a new tab here. And if we navigate back here, you can see that there is a new notebook. It's IPYNB. This is a Jupyter notebook here. And we haven't given it a name. It's just running right now. So we can go ahead and give this a name if we want up here. And then we would just write the code in these little cells. So these cells can contain text or code, whichever we choose. We can choose code, markdown, NB convert, or heading. Typically, we'll just go with markdown for regular text. And we'll just write, or we'll choose a code one for some Python code that we can actually write and run. So let's say, for example, we just wanted to actually just print out a variable. I could create a variable called like int one, and I could set this equal to five, and then I could print int one. Okay, if I go to run the cell, then it simply runs all of the code that's in this particular cell and starts a new one. 